am excited for today's guitar log. My V-Picks have arrived. So, I'm going to experiment with some new picks. I'm going to drink me one of my favorite beers at the same time. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Pull back a little too fast there. See how excited I am? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'll use some of this scrap paper to clean that up. Anyway, V-Picks. So, here's what's going on. Why am I excited about this? So, the very first guitar log I did was some pick experimenting. Trying out new picks after I decided to try and do something besides the uh, sick picks that I have been using or had been using exclusively. Only sick picks for like the past four years, something like that. So, I ended up settling on this gravity pick here. You see how fat that fucker is? That is six millimeters thick. I have on some non-slip, one that would focus on the pick a little bit better than that, but I do have some non-slip grips uh, stuck on, some stickers stuck onto the pick. This is the third fucking set I've put on here. So it's, uh, unfortunately these grips, not as good as I had hoped. But the, the pro the why do I have these grips on here? Because this gravity pick, even though I love the way it feels, it's fucking slippery. It slips. As soon as any body oil gets on that pick, it is slippery as fuck. So, with the, uh, that was classy, right? <laughs> with these V-picks, the website says that the material used to make these picks... Uh, actually warms to your fingers and will stick to your fingers okay so a gentleman by the name of Jim Jim thank you very much for this uh, he is a fellow cracking the code forum member and I believe uh, basically he said you know for the videos that I put out there he as a thank you for that, he wanted to send me some of the V picks that he has that he was no longer using. It is not him just throwing shit away, not at all. Uh, it's Pat paying it forward, right? Paying it forward. So I'm going to open his thing first, right? Of course, right. Why am I saying right so much? Nope, one more here. Cool. So all kinds of picks. Um, some of these, I just talking about my thoughts here. Some of these I didn't think I would really even really like, but because of how thin some of these looked, but you never know until you try it. That's that's something very important here. My personal training client is going to be maybe five to ten minutes late to work, or workout, but that's not in a while. You're probably thinking, why are you drinking before the workout? I'm not getting drunk, goddammit! Anyway, so we have the uh, V-Pick small ULP. Here we go. Let's get a look at that. So this this one, as you can see, hopefully you can see, it's it's pretty thin. It does look to be, I would say, a millimeter thick, which is what I recommend everybody use. A millimeter thick pick, bare minimum, for those of you who wish to play as fast as you possibly can. Uh, another one, I'm not sure. Oh. This looks. To, is this the same one? It can't be the same one. I think this. But what's the difference here between these two? I'm trying to see if one's stuck together. Maybe I'm just seeing something wrong. It looks like these two are the same. Jim did send me a video on his stuff. I can't remember. I. It's been a minute. So this. Uh, this one is a stiletto. It is bit thicker than the I come on camera focus on the damn pick you son bitch I'm sorry I, I don't know if I can make it focus or not but it's a little bit thicker than the other here let me hold up the hold up both of them maybe you can see a difference here uh, stiletto and then the other one so it yeah so this is thicker it looks to be about twice the thickness 
we got uh, ourselves a chicken picker. So this is, this is definitely a thicker pick. I like that, and it is. It does look beveled a bit. So it does kind of look like the uh, gravity pick that I'm using. Um, just much thinner. So this might be a, an interesting one for me. Let's see. Now we got ourselves. I'm not sure what this one is called. There's an S marked on it. But uh, this, is what we, this is what it looks like. Is this one the snake? I think this might be a, the snake model. I'm guessing this one is about three millimeters thick. It's a bit thicker. So here, here's the original one against the bigger one. So hopefully trying to get it more in focus. So, so this is the bigger one. Hopefully you can see that. So th compared to the gravity pick I've been using. So gravity pick's definitely thicker, right? So I'm wondering how this is gonna feel. Remember one of the reasons why I like the gravity pick so much is because of how fat the damn thing was. It felt really good in my hand. And it also reduced dis the distance from string to string, just like the sick pick does. Um, MP, I'm not, I don't, can't remember, or MR, I can't remember what this one's called. Can't remember off the top of my head. There's several different picks. So this is about the same th uh, thickness as the last one, but it's much more rounded. And this looks to be the same thing, but much larger. So let's do a side by side comparison. Bam. Big as fuck, not so big. So that's what, those are all the picks Jim sent. Let's see if I can move this camera here. <laughs> so you can see them all right there, right? Uh, here we go. So those are the ones Jim sent. Thank you, Jim. I do appreciate it. Um, I really do. It's very cool of you. Oh my God, now the camera's moving all over the place. Come on, tripod. Don't don't fail me now. I'm trying to do a thing. Okay. Now, now I'm out. You don't need to see my crotch. That's disgusting. Ew. Uh, anyway, okay, now, the ones that I ordered, I got the big Mondo one. I got the Insanity one. I got the 11 millimeter one. I keep saying I got, I'm going to have a little drink here. I'm going to open these up. I'm going to try them all out. Try them all. I'm, I'm, I rarely ever get excited for anything. Anyone who knows me, closely knows me, they know I like rarely ever get excited. I'm genuinely excited for this shit. Yeah, buddy. All right. He's got here pretty quick too. Ordered them on Tuesday. They shipped out on Tuesday. Oh, there's a receipt. Yeah, so we got a, let's see, what did I order? I ordered a snake pointed Smoky Mountain, a Psycho Shredder, a Psycho, which is a little bit different than the Psycho Shredder, the Colossal, and the Insanity. It's uh, $105 worth of guitar picks right here. Holy moly. All right, let's see. We got, uh, what did they send here? Oh, that's cool. A little uh, velvet pouch. I like that. That's a nice touch. Okay, never drop your pick again. That's what it says on here. See, they're they're promoting the the never the non-slip pick stuff here too. So let's check these out. I, this is pretty cool. Holy motherfucker! <laughs> the colossal. This is the colossal. I I want to say this one was like eight between eight and nine millimeters thick. This is the colossal. Here, here's the the gravity pick. Hopefully, you can see, so it's it's definitely thicker than the gravity. That's fucking cool, man. Uh, colossal. So I'm get this must be the insanity one. So the the super expensive picks are in the fancy uh, velvet case. Look at that son of a bitch. <laughs> this is so cool. That is freaking huge, man. That. So, 
he, here, the one I'm moving right now, this is the Colossal. This is the Insanity. So, I, sorry, it's, I'm trying to make it easy to see the difference here. Bigger, smaller. Look at that. Look at the difference between the Insanity and the Gravity pickup I've been using. Holy moly. This is almost twice the size. This is almost twice the size. Holy crap. Um, hey, who knows? I might hate the way the damn thing plays. I might love it. I might. Maybe it's too big. Maybe it's too big. That's what she said. <laughs> we should find out. Well, these are stuck. They done stuck it to the card. What do we have here? two-sided two tape there it looks like so we got ourselves uh, the psycho pick hold on let me get these all off here so it's the psycho pick the psycho shredder pick this looks fucking cool as shit I'm guessing I'm going to like this one a lot I think this was just like barely under six millimeters but look uh, hang on let me get, get the other one off here let me get the other one off This looks pretty cool too, the snake. Okay. So I thought one of these was the snake. Which one did I think was the snake? Uh let's see. Yeah, that looks to be it's the same thing. It is the same thing. He sent me a snake and ordered a damn snake. Shame on me. Oh well. Well this one's darker. Same style, right? But it's this one's black. Uh, okay, so the, these the other two here you got the Psycho and the Psycho Shredder. So th this one seems to be a lot closer to the Gravity Pick I have. It's almost the same thickness. Um, I'm wondering if the Gravity Pick uh, is rounded up in the millimeters. But uh, whatever. So you got it's, this is the same thing. It's, both are Shredders, right? Or I'm sorry, both are Psycho Picks. It's the same thickness, but this one's pointy super pointy I think that's really cool because in just like a week or two of having the gravity pick the pointed part is already wearing down this is like three picks in one it looks like in fact is that basically like how the insanity yes yeah, so it looks like the insanity and the colossal pick are kind of the same way same thing with Maybe the snake as well. It's almost like I think uh, I think the em the uh, the emblem, you know, the printed stuff on here is kind of messing with my head. But I bet if I took those off, yeah, it looks like it's a uh, it's it's the same thing on all sides. It looks like, which is a fucking cool ass idea, because when one side wears out, you go to the other side. You don't have to buy another one. These are expensive ass picks, so that's very cool. Right on, V picks. Very good. Very good idea. Okay. Um. Shit. Now, now is the time to. Uh, I might need another beer here. I'm really excited about this, and I love my beer. I I, I love Fat Tire. I'm not very happy with New Belgium's uh, approach to these fucking IPAs lately, though. Why do people like IPAs now? They're so goddamn bitter. This is full of flavor and tasty as hell. Anyway, whatever. <sighs> Anyhow. Alright. So. Here we go. <clears throat> Got my favorite guitar. Got one of my favorite beers. I don't know. Is Fat Tire my favorite beer right now? It's definitely my favorite go to. It's not too heavy. It's definitely way better than goddamn Miller Lite, which tastes like fucking disappointment. Anyhow. Turn this up a bit. Sorry, Waffles. The cat, you see the cat? She's, she's right in front of the amp. She's probably thinking, you son of a bitch. You're ruining my sleep. Alright, so here we go. Let's start with this guy. Yeah? 
let's see. So, so far, you know, it's thin, but that may not necessarily be a bad thing. We don't know yet. That does feel pretty good. I'm surprised. I am surprised because usually with a, with a flat pick like this, I feel really, really handicapped. I remember trying, some people say, hey, you should try the Dunlop, uh, what the fuck, the Sharp. I hated this piece of shit. Sorry. Yeah, I don't like that. Something about it, it feels like it's like my thumb is somehow going into the pick. It's like it's, it's di dipping into it somehow. No, I do not like Dunlop Sharps. But this one, it, it doesn't feel that way. I'm pretty sure this is the same thing here. Well, fuck, I, I'm surprised how pleased I am with how the thin one feels. Wow. That feels pretty good. All right, on to the stiletto. So this one's a little thicker. Back to this first one. I'm surprised this one actually feels a little bit better to me than the stiletto does. Chicken picker. Chicken picker next. Let's see what this one feels like. So I can definitely see uh, a bevel on this one. Um, the stiletto is beveled. But because it's thinner, I guess it's less pronounced. So let's see. Um, I, I'm going to try the gravity pick again because that's what I've been using. Huh. Back to the chicken picker. Okay, so it seems like the notes come out a little bit better with the chicken picker here versus the gravity pick. 
So I'm very curious how these next ones are going to go. So we got the we got the clear snake. Let's try the clear snake first. So that edge is a bit rounded off. I'm guessing it's because of use. Yeah, it's got to be because of use. Okay. Well, so let's try the used side. Let's see what that feels like. Back to the gravity pick. Okay, immediately I feel that this one sounds thicker. Versus the clear snake one. Hmm. Maybe I'm just imagining stuff because now I don't hear it. Interesting. Well, what is is there a difference between the clear one and the non-clear one? Hmm. But definitely not really a difference between how it feels using the uh, clear versus the smoky version of the snake. Quick drink. Alright, so the one I can't remember, MR. That's how it's uh, marked. You got MR and then the bigger one of it is FLR. What does this one feel like? I forget that kind of thumb indentation thing that I did with the uh, <coughs> Dunlop Sharp just now. Interesting. See how the uh, bigger one feels. Hmm. Compared to the gravity pick that I've been using. I want to say that the V picks, I feel like. I have more, uh, more note clarity.
That's interesting. I wonder if, if it's just the material itself that's uh, allowing for no or more no clarity. So, on to the fat fucks. Yeah, but fat. Yeah, the fat fucks, huh? Mm-hmm. On to uh, the psycho pick. Oh, boy. Look forward to this. I'm really looking forward to trying this. I'm almost afraid to try a note. <laughs> Man. <clears throat> Ooh, first note I played is a C. are the same, so... to the gravity pick. Back to the psycho. Yeah. Uh, the, these feel like they produce slightly clearer notes. Uh, so far, I do not feel like this is getting slippery versus how the gravity pick is uh, without the uh, non-slip grip stickers. Now the cycle shredder. Perfect triangle here, right? Here we go. This is a pointy bastard. The website says, don't come crying to Vinny. Don't come crying to Vinny Smith. If you poke yourself. <laughs> it's it's a bit pointy. It is fucking pointy. Oh my. Interesting. I wonder if this is actually too pointed for me. I'm saying it's too pointed for somebody else, but I'm, I'm wondering if this is actually too pointed for me. Back to the original psycho. I, I definitely prefer the original Psycho to the Psycho Shredder. The Psycho Shredder is a little bit too pointed I, for me. For me! I'm not talking down on the pick. Uh, why? Why is oh, do I feel it's too pointed? Um, I feel I can get closer to the edge of this pick versus the, the Psycho Shredder version. I feel I'm further away from it. I think it's it definitely slides across the strings real well, but I'm able to get closer to the tip of the pick, which is very, very important if you want to play as fast as possible and hit pinch harmonics. That was a good 
pinch. But I'll try the other one again. I might change my mind, I don't know. Definitely a tone difference. Yeah, I just feel like I'm going to be uh, having to change my damn grip around a lot for, for this one. It's a, it feels pretty cool, but I, I like the other one better. I like the other one better. Alright, I need a refill. A refill. One moment, please! Alright, I am back with my refill. Waffles the cat. Right there. Yeah. Okay. So, obviously, in the editing process, you don't really see much of a break. So, just finished doing the Psycho, psycho Pick Test. Now, what I've really been looking forward to, the Colossal and Insanity Picks. So, there's a guy, you may have heard of him, for you Shred fans, you Shred aficionados, or... Condosaurs, Shredosaurs, Shredosaurus Rex, um, Roy Marchbank. He is fucking fast. And his picks, let's see, so I can't remember who I talked to. I think it was online friend Count Joseph Barnes. Um, we have a similar sense of humor. But, uh, what was it? The a video I saw of Roy Marchbank talk he talked about he glues three stubby picks together I think Dunlop is the maker of them I'm not really sure how the hell that works because they're they're all beveled to some degree Tigger just walked by um, so I think like there'd be gaps in between each of the three picks but anyway I anyway I uh, but he is working on a pick. Apparently there's a pick prototype. I can't remember who's making it for him. It kind of looks like a V-pick from what the picture I saw. But he's getting a 9mm thick pick. A 9mm thick pick. So he was basically really trying to take the whole beveled pick edge to an extreme, right? So the colossal pick here, I believe, is very damn close to 9mm. If you round it up it's nine millimeters this is a thick ass pick so I think it's kind of funny I actually feel a little afraid to try this thing because it's like man I have some high high ass hopes for this shit oh man time to take the colossal V pick for a test run some neighbor of mine just got home. You might hear the car doors closing right now. Oh, shit. Okay, so, holding it feels pretty good. How, how does that feel versus the gravity? The gravity with the fucking stickers. Tigger. Tigger. Look, he's, he's coming when he's called. Look at that. Tigger, do you want to try out a, a V-Pick? Hmm? He doesn't want to try a V-Pick. He just wants to be pet. He is a... You know, the he and another orange tabby that I've known are the most needy sons of bitches I've ever met. Anyway, maybe it's a, a male orange tabby cat thing because I knew a female orange one named Popcorn and she was not like this at all. Anyhow, here we go. Trying the Colossal Pick. I definitely feel a difference from uh, the different sides where my thumb is. 
the side that has the uh, text the text printed on it is a little uh, feels better on my thumb feels better on my thumb holy shit here we go Hmm. Alright, so there's some slippage issues that I'm feeling currently. I don't know if I just need to warm up more with this pick to eliminate that. Those things the V pick said is you're never going to drop another pick because the material warms to your your fingers. And you play around with it some more. Right, let's see. Shit. Whoops. I think I might like the Shaco better. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that, that's a definite, clear fucking difference right there. So, I think at the beginning of this little pick test video, I mentioned that maybe these Mondo picks will be too thick. I think that might be the case here. Uh, the, the Psycho one feels really damn good. It feels really good. I don't know. It, it's the same damn material. But this does sit between my thumb and first finger better. <laughs> Back to the uh, Coloss. Yes, Colossal. <sighs> well, shit. That does feel pretty damn comfortable. Uh, most likely what's going to happen is I'm going to do... What I did the first time uh, with this pick test stuff is tomorrow's guitar log. I'll actually do some metronome work with with the picks that feel the best to me. I am really surprised that the thinnest pick of this bunch felt as good as it did. I'm very surprised. Um. Okay. Here we go. The insanity. This pick is like thirty fucking dollars. This is a thirty dollar guitar pick. Holy shit. I think the last one was like twenty five. Um why am I telling you the price of this? Well that's because that's what it is. Um credit cards help with this stuff. 
Wow, am I almost maxed out with that. Um, this is very interesting. I, I've never played a pick so goddamn thick. Let's see, what does it look like compared to the, the sick pick? You know, in terms of distance, you know, the, from the bottom to the top of the pick, this is pretty comparable for the D75 versus this uh, V pick of Sanity. I haven't played a sick pick in a while. Wow, that's uh, interesting to feel. Man, you know, you get used to a, a pick. It, it's, it's so weird to pick up something else. It's like a guitar. You get used to your guitar. Playing somebody else's guitar is bizarre. So. Back to the gravity. Overall, this one really does feel better than the sick pick. God damn it, I apologize, Frank. I feel like such a dick for wanting something besides the sick pick. I really do. Uh, Psycho. The Psycho one. Let's try that next. Colossal. Oh shit. <clears throat> For the first time ever. It's the insanity. And eleven. Eleven millimeter thick. Pick. This fucker is almost a whole centimeter wide, thick, whatever. Oh my lord. <sighs> Alright, just thinking about how, how does this feel in my hand versus the Colossal. Hmm. the Psycho. Psycho feels very natural, very comfortable. Insanity feels very comfortable too. I So the the flat surface on the Insanity is smaller than the flat surface on the Colossal. I wonder if that has anything to do with the insanity actually feeling a little more comfortable to hold than the colossal. I don't know. Holy crap! You know, as far as like the points here, oh yeah, there's definitely a difference between the uh, old psycho one and the insanity. One more swig, man. One more swig, manch. Here we go. Doing a test run for the first time with an 11 millimeter pick. Oh my god. Well, first negative is it's much more challenging to do a pinch harmonic. That is very important for me. I need to be able to do pinch harmonics very, very quickly. Shit. 
whirl around the neck pickup. Fucking A! So, oh my, the Colossal all of a sudden felt better than the Psycho. Versus the Insanity. Uh, um, well, what about the snake? What about the snake? What about the snake? Versus the huge snake. Versus the thinnest one. Oddly enough, this is really goddamn comfortable. That's so fucking weird to me. Versus gravity pick! Sick pick D seventy five and back to the psycho. Back to the gravity. Back to the psycho. Well, okay, uh, I think I'm about done with this fairly long pick testing video. So, overall impressions with these V picks, uh, for the most part, they're definitely way less slippery than a goddamn gravity pick. Way to go, gravity pick. Gravity pick does have some, uh, some options that have... Uh, patterns engraved into them, some grips engraved into them. I the last batch picks I got was on Sweetwater, and Sweetwater does not carry any six millimeter gravity picks with grips engraved into them. <coughs> but uh, so that's why I didn't go for another gravity pick. You can get them on their site. Uh, there are more expensive gravity picks made from a different material. But the, yeah, the, the 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 really thick ones with engraving, that's another like $35 one right there. That's a $35 pick versus the... This might be $35. It's, is it 30 or, Well, let's find out. I got the receipt right here. It's $35. Yeah. The Colossal is $30. The Insanity is 35, but, uh, uh, there is definitely some slippery feeling with the Colossal and Insanity. Not nowhere near as bad as the Gravity Pick. So, the next guitar log tomorrow, I will be doing some metronome testing with my th three favorites. I might actually do the thinnest one too because of how surprised I was at how good it felt. It's really weird to me. Uh, so the thinnest one, fucking A. I'm going to play with that one most likely. I might not. I don't know. But uh, definitely with the, the Psycho Pick. Not the Psycho Shredder. Okay, maybe I will. We'll, we'll see. Def so, it, d at least, the very least, the Insanity, the Colossal, the Psycho Pick, possibly the Psycho Shredder, possibly the thinnest one of the bunch, and the Gravity Pick. Maybe the Sick Pick? Well, I already kind of ruled that one out. So, the, these six different picks uh, because 
it seems like those six will be the ones I will be happiest with. Now, this is just for guitar, of course. With the acoustic guitar, this here uh, Prime Tone from Dunlop 3mm pick, I like this on the acoustic much, much better than the 6mm gravity pick. So, on the acoustic, that's another story. Uh, bass guitar. Now, I am a fan of playing with the fingers. But, but, for note clarity and heaviness in the bass, uh, some stuff I will do a mixture. I'll do two bass guitar takes, actually. I'll, I'll double it with a fingered uh, bass performance and a picked bass performance. So that's a whole other fucking ball game right there. Maybe I will bust out the bass amp uh, for a different pick test. Yeah. And uh, I used to be a person who said, oh, only real bass players play with their fingers. But it's really all about what are you trying to create, right? What notes are you trying to create? How? What's the performance you're trying to do? So on and so forth. Thank you for watching this long ass video. Um, oh, guess what?